Hi there, welcome to the longer version of the Nourishing Earth Qigong Flow for late summer. This contains a few extra bits and bobs from the Wuji Elemental Alchemy series. So find a nice grounded position with your feet shoulder width apart, pressed into the ground, nice long spine. And just take a moment to come into the body, cross the hands over, pressing them a couple of inches below the navel on the lower dantian area. And just give yourself a moment to acknowledge the breath, feeling the belly rise and fall as you inhale and exhale. We're just going to open the body and warm it up a little bit. So we'll stretch our hips first. Take your feet out a little wider. Hands on the hips and start to rotate the pelvis, creating as big a circle as you want. Ideally, we want to feel like we're opening the joint and also stretching around the jowl, around the waist area. So go as slowly as you want here and really feel into that sense of opening and stretching. can take the stretch a little deeper as well so just coming onto one leg bend down and stretch your foot out so that you can feel it in the inside leg just resting on the bent knee and just stay down for as long as you need to to feel a nice opening stretch both in the hip and the leg and then we're going to transfer the weight Cross to the other side. So pushing yourself up, come back to center and then over to the other side and just reposition the foot if you need to so that you've got a nice long stretch going on. Then just coming back onto the other side again and facing forward, so just stretching out a different part of the leg and the inside of the hip now to opening up that quad. So coming into a bit of a lunge, just go down as far as you can, supporting yourself with your hands. Feeling the front of the thigh, opening up the front of the hip flexor, stretching open, just breathe in. And then swap round, use your breath to carry you through any slightly tight or crunchy feeling moments. And then when you've had a good stretch, just come up and reposition the legs, so bringing them back to slightly more stable shoulder width apart position. Make sure your toes are pointing forward. Align your spine so the tailbone is pointing down towards the earth and the crown is pulling up, giving you a nice long spine. And again, we'll connect with the lower dantian area. So crossing the hands over, palms, just rubbing around the lower belly, enjoying that warmth from your palms, seeping in to the energy within. We're going to work a little bit with the universal principle of pulsing energy, starting with that lower dantian area. So shift your focus down into the lower belly, right in the center of the abdominal cavity. So this is where the energy of the lower dantian will start to gather. 
with each inhale, see if you can expand that energy out a little bit, making it grow bigger. And with every exhale, just try and contract it back in, making it smaller but more intense. So there's a pulsing rhythm with the breath as you inhale. You expand that internal energy out a little. And as you exhale, you pull it back in. And just repeat that a few times till you feel like you are working with the energy within the lower belly. And next we're going to take that same rhythmic pulsing powered by the breath, but focus on a different part of the body. So shifting your focus from the lower dantian onto the whole body itself, bring the arms up, make yourself bigger, and then float them down, sinking the knees, make yourself smaller. So as we inhale, we're gonna float the arms up, rise up a little, get bigger, expand the body out. And as we exhale, we just make ourselves smaller again. So again, inhalation draws us out, expands us out, makes us bigger. And the exhalation just reduces back in to center. We'll just do that a few times, focusing on the whole body at once. It's a different challenge to rest the awareness in um, a much larger area than it is a much more non-specific small area like the lower dantian. Let's see how you get up. Bring the arms down and just allow them to hang so that you're in your neutral Wuji posture. Everything's relaxed, all the joints are open, spine's nice and long. Now we're shifting the focus onto the surface of the body. So the area on top of your skin, your energy shield, we're just going to expand it outwards as you breathe in and contract it back as you breathe out. So if you're new to doing this, just try and let your mind rest on the area immediately surrounding your body. And as you breathe in, feel as if it's expanding outwards. And as you breathe out, just pull it back in nice and tight towards the skin. Keep going with the breath. As you progress, you might feel a little bit like the whole body is expanding. Meditate on the surface of the body, just sending the energy out as much as you feel comfortable. Then let's start to work our way back in. So from the energy around the body now, let's bring the awareness back into the whole body, arms, legs, front, back. As you breathe in, take the arms out to the side, expanding your shape, making yourself bigger, wider. And as you exhale, 
float them back down, making yourself smaller. And just do that a couple more times. Then cross the hands back on the belly. Once again, drawing the energy inwards to the center of the abdomen. As you breathe in, send that Dantian energy out a little, making it bigger. And as you breathe out, bring it back in. And now working with a different energetic pattern, that of the toroidal field. We're going to make a bit of a a bottom with our hands so that the palms are facing up, kind of keeping the energy in. We place one hand with the fingertips pointing down and then draw it up the center line of the body, spreading it out to the side. We do the same with the other hand. So the hands are moving simultaneously. So your fingers point down and your palm points out. You draw it up through the center line of the body and out. So your hands, as you can see, and arms are creating a toroidal shape to mimic that of the toroidal fields or the several toroidal fields that are present around the body. You can go as fast or as slow as you want with this. Really just feel into it and see what you feel like doing. Because of the upward movement of the hands, it's generally thought to be a bit of a cleansing and releasing movement, this one. So you might want to synchronize the breath in a particular pattern, making it quite emphatic, almost like you're pulling something up and out of the body, maybe stagnant energy or tiredness. Or you can just go slowly and gently and just breathe naturally. There's no particular pattern. So once we've done a few going that way, we're going to reverse the movement. Again, bringing the hands up, palms facing up, and then extend one arm out to the side, bringing the hand perpendicular down the front line of the body, simultaneously moving the other hand so that we've got them working at the same time. Hands with the palms facing outward, moving down that center line. Very much more in this sequence about bringing energy in and really kind of cementing it down through the body. Again, just breathe how you want to breathe, depending on how fast you're going. And with each extension of the arm and movement of the hand down, you are encouraging that free flow of energy in the toroidal shape to move down through the body.
Bringing the hands back to a neutral position with the palms facing up. Just bring them up a little higher underneath the chest. A different toroidal shape now, so pressing the palms down into the front, sweeping them back. Palms back facing up the chest and push forward. So it's not a million miles away from a breaststroke type movement here. We're working on a toroidal shape going laterally around the body. And again, this pushing out movement towards the front is very much clearing and releasing from the mid part of the body in particular, the middle dantian. So palms down and facing back, bring them up and around and then palms up as you come to the front again. And just do that a few times, breathing in your own natural pattern. reverse that movement so starting with the palms up we're just going to push the fingertips back sweep the arms around to the side palms down then palms up as you draw them back in and repeat that movement it's more of a sweeping energy in towards you this one so again we had the clearing out first and now we're bringing fresh in so do this a few times working with your own breath pattern Bringing the arms back to centre, just release them down, pressing the palms back down towards the earth. We're going to just relax in Wuji and then bring your feet back so that they're touching. Legs are pressed together. So you've got a strong, stable midline going through the body and you can accentuate that with the palms in prayer at the heart centre. We're just going to extend and compress the body a little bit. Bend your knees down, bring the body down so that it's almost as if it's pressing flat against the upper leg. And feel a nice stretch and an opening down the back of the body. Hold that for as long as you are able. And then using that pressure in towards the midline of the body with the palms pressed together, come up and push up the hands rising up through the centre above the head, extending the front of the body, feeling the stretch. And if you can come up onto your toes, just hold it there for a moment. And then we'll repeat that movement again. So just bringing the palms down, still feeling that pressure in towards the centre. Bend the knees, compressing the body, feeling the spine open as you flatten the back down towards the legs. Lift the head a little so you can really feel that opening in the back. And then push up through the middle, up and over the head, feeling that elongation down the centre line of the body, rising up onto the balls of your feet if you can, just holding it there for a second. And then release the hands, bring the feet up back to shoulder width apart. And place your hands on the top of your thighs and we're going to slide them down so you're keeping the arms straight and the hands are resting just above the knees. Keep your legs straight as well and just lean forward so that the back is nice and straight, arms are straight, legs are straight. Again, feel that opening down the back of the body. And we can release that. So keeping your hands on your legs, just draw them up as you straighten the body. We're going to place the palms of the hands on the small of the back and pushing the hips forward slightly. You can squeeze the glutes to protect the lower back as well as having your palms there. Just lean back, opening the front of the chest into a back bend. Bring the hands on the body. Let's rub them all the way down. This time we're going to take them down to just um, 
below the ankles and press the fingers either side of the ankle. You don't have to have your back straight here. Just get down as low as you can using a gentle pressure with the fingertips. Roll back up, palms back on the small of the back and lean back, opening up the front of the body. And then rolling the hands down the legs again. This time, if you can, come all the way down onto the ground and place the hands flat on the ground. If you need to bend your legs, feel free to do so, but try and get the palms pressing into the earth. And then with your head and neck hanging, don't let there be any tension here, just press into the hands and see if you can straighten your legs a little bit. Roll up, we'll do one more back bend, so palms on the lower back, hips forward, shoulders back, stretching out the front of the body. And then slowly roll back up to centre. Arms out to the side now, one arm goes behind, forearm pressed against the middle of the back, the other forearm is over the crown of the head and you're going to stretch to the side, just opening up the body in a different way. So both forearms are pressed against the crown and the middle of the back for a bit of support. Come back up and then just swap round and we'll stretch down to the other side. the arms back down and then let's shake off any build up of energy really connecting with the earth with some heel drops so if you're able lift your heels up and then drop them down on the ground make sure you're not on a very hard surface uh, wood and carpet's fine and obviously the grass is fine but if you have a very hard floor perhaps putting a mat down would be good just let that shock reverberate through the skeletal system is a really good way to shake off stress and ground your energy. Just let the arms be nice and loose, shoulders are relaxed. You can time the breath as well so that you're breathing in and out as you drop down. You can also draw the shoulders up as you breathe in. It's quite nice one to release any tension in the neck and shoulders. So draw them up to the ears and then drop everything down, keeping everything nice and loose as you exhale. Let's do a little bit of a shake. Nice deep breath in, floating the arms up. And as you exhale, just loosen them up and let the body shake itself. Arms working their way back down towards the hips. We do that a couple more times. Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth if it helps. Shake it out. And then just shake the arms out. You might want to do a few shoulder rotations, just opening up the chest. Just let the shoulder joint open, the shoulder blades circulate at the back of the body. And then we'll do a little bit of Wuji starts, so standing meditation. Just check your alignment again, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward, nice long spine, tailbone pointing down, open hips, so just sink your quad area a little bit. Shoulders are relaxed, arms are just hanging. Crown of the head is pulling you up, so you've got a nice long elegant spine. And we stand here for a few minutes or as long as you like really, breathing gently, allowing yourself to completely reset, going back to that primordial energy of the Wuji position. There are alternative ways of doing it as well. You can have your palms pressing down towards the earth. This is a particularly earth focused one, perhaps keeping the palms nice and stretched so you can absorb that earthly energy. Just find a position which works for you. 
can also bring the hands up a little, curving the arms so that the palms are still pressing down towards the earth, really absorbing that upward flow of energy. Personally, I like to have the arms nice and relaxed so that you can become really still, let everything relax and open. And just allow yourself to breathe here, nice and low down in the belly, keeping the quad, the hip area nice and open with the knees soft. All the joints are open and relaxed. You can close your eyes if you like or stare at a fixed point ahead of you. And just give yourself a couple of minutes in this meditative posture, allowing the body to completely reset. And before we move into the second part of the sequence and just start to wake up our energy a little bit, come out of Wuji, just bringing the arms down to the sides and then we'll do a little bit of a bounce, keeping the top half of the body nice and relaxed, arms just hanging by the side and just bounce up and down. Again, connecting with the earth energy in a slightly more dynamic fashion. If you have problems with the joints, you can keep your feet flat on the ground and just bounce lightly at the knee. We just want a sense of impact coming up through the soles of the feet. Have a little bit of a shake of the body, just loosen everything up. So let the flesh really wobble. The idea is to get the body moving and also just drop any tension that you might have acquired throughout the day before we begin practice. Take your feet out shoulder width apart. We begin with our Wuji posture. So just sink your tailbone down, soften your knees, feet are shoulder width apart and the toes are pointing forward. Then let the arms hang down so there's a little bit of space between the arms and the body. Your shoulders are relaxed and as your tailbone points down towards the earth, try and lift the crown of your head up a little so you're elongating your spine. It's in a nice straight line. Let the breath slow down. We want to keep the abdomen nice and relaxed here so that it's easier to breathe steady abdominal breaths. So drop any tension out of the belly or also the glutes and thighs where it can start to creep in sometimes. Feel the warmth and stability of the earth under the soles of your feet. And if you're practicing outside, the warmth of the sunshine on your skin. Release that position 
And we're going to move into another static posture, a uh, standing meditation, Zhang Zhuang, and position the body in a position which really helps channel the energy of the earth element. You take your feet out wider, ideally with the toes pointing forward um, as you sink your knees, sink the tailbone down into a nice, low, steady, stable horse stance. If you do need to edge your toes out a little bit, feel free to do that. Then put the hands in fists, draw them back in towards the ribs, keeping the shoulders relaxed, but you're creating quite a strong um, right angle shape here with the arms. And if you can sink as low as you feel comfortable with the legs, we're kind of emulating that square right angle shape here as well. Once you're in the position, just relax again, letting the belly release. This position is a little bit lower down. So perhaps you'll find it easier to connect with the earth and that sense of strength and solidity. If you can sink a little bit lower. Feel the earth energy building in the body. And just breathe and hold the position. Release and gradually ease your way out of the horse stance, bringing the feet back to shoulder width apart. Drop your tailbone, lift the crown, relax the arms in front of the body. We're going to bring the arms up to shoulder height, softly breathing in, and then sink the knees a little and float the arms down. So on your inhalation, you're focusing on the earth energy rising up through the body. And as you exhale, you're letting it flow back down. With the rise and fall, we also Getting familiar with the concept of yin and yang, the rising up, the sinking down, and the duality that that suggests. As we rise up, we're closer to heaven. And as we sink down, we're closer to earth. Then just straighten the legs a little. This time you're gonna breathe in, bring the arms up, but sink the knees this time. And as you exhale, you rise up a little. So we're kind of reversing the movements. Sinking the knees as you inhale, drawing the arms up. And exhaling, rising up. Working in this opposite motion, we can start to feel a little bit of the churn of the two polarities, yin and yang. As we rise up and down with each breath. You can switch around and do a few more where you're inhaling, bringing the arms up and rising and then swap back and bring the arms up as you sink the knees and just see how that makes you feel, swapping those polarities around like that. Place the palms down towards the earth. One is going to now face up towards heaven and then shift your weight over onto that leg, lifting up the other leg so that you're creating a bit of a right angle as you push the upward facing hand up towards heaven and the downward facing hand towards earth. So your fingers should be facing directly forward. It might look like they're turned out a little because of the camera, but face them forward. Then flip them round and as you bring the palms back, 
level, just swap the weight, shifting over, lift the other leg and push up and push down. Turn the hands, come back to the centre as they cross each other. It's quite nice to inhale as you push up, rise up, really feeling that stretch and then exhale as you compress back down. Inhaling as you push up and exhale down. Again, this is working with some of the Tai Chi principles of yin and yang, feeling that duality and that switch over as you cycle from one polarity to the other. If you struggle with balance, feel free to just do this with the hands and keep your feet shoulder width apart and spine straight. And we're connecting with heaven and earth here to really understand the polarity before we fully connect with the earth. We've come from a neutral position. We're now splitting that neutrality into heaven and earth, into yin and yang, just to really feel the difference between them. There's another sequence we can do as well to really kind of start to feel this in our bodies. So here we're going to make circles, taking the arms round in circles, doesn't matter which way you go, you might want to mirror me, but you're going to just check which way your arms are moving up. So work out which way the arms are moving up towards, and then you're going to turn to that direction, just take the toes round and do a little bit of a lunge, lift the arms up, palms facing up and offer up to heaven. And then you're going to bring the arms back round in a circle, you'll notice they're moving up to the other direction now, so you're going to turn in that direction, so take the arms round and take the foot round and lunge, offering up to heaven. So we'll try that again. We'll do fewer circles this time. Notice the way you're moving up. Turn and offer. Come back around. Maybe just do one circle this time. And turn and offer. Okay, so coming back in with a circling. Now we're going to offer down to earth. Note which side your hands are moving down to. And then turn on the heel. Straightening the leg and offer down towards the earth. Taking your hands down. Come back up more circles. Now you're moving down to the other side. So lift up the toes, pivot on the heel, and offer down. Come back up, offer down. It's quite a nice stretch for the hamstring this as well. Let's try it on the other side. Then we're going to put all of the moves together. So starting with offering to heaven first, notice which side you're moving up, then turn and offer up. Come back round, just do one circle, turn, offer up to the other side, coming back, offering down now. Come back up, circle and offer down. Back to centre, turn and offer up to heaven. Back to centre, and again. Back to centre, down to earth. Back to centre, down to earth. You can just repeat that and get into the flow of these two polarities. And come back to centre. You're going to do some circles, then change your circling into being um, more of a horizontal move. So we're going to have the palms facing down again and then just take the hands around, gliding them in a figure of eight around the body. Taking nice, slow, steady breaths. We're just going to gather some earth energy here and bring it up through the system. 
and we're going to use the breath. So just take your arms round. We're going to do one deep breath in. And as you exhale, push the hands forward, taking the foot forward as well. Come round to the other side. Deep breath, step forward and push. Come back, other side, gather and release. Gather, nice deep breath and release. Do this a few more times. And come back to center. Create a prayer hand mudra in the middle of the heart center, the middle down to the end. Just stand here for a moment, allowing the energy to shift up a little bit. We're just going to do a little bit of the fire element to really nourish the earth, just breathing as you press your palms together. Depending on how warm you are or how much rising chi you tend to have or how yang you are, you might start to feel the energy really builds and collect here now. So we then release it using the breath and using the hands. You're going to breathe in and as you breathe out we're going to face the palms forward creating a triangle and then rotate them around breathing back in with the palms together so you breathe in then you exhale push rotate and breathe in again so do time it for your own natural breath pattern we can do a little bit more to expend the energy out from the heart center by stretching the arms out as well so you can exhale and then inhale, bring them back. So you're inhaling with your prayer hands and then exhale, pushing, little finger leading the way, inhaling back into the center. And feel free to exhale through the mouth. You can make the ha sound that is associated with the fire element. You can step forward as well, really send that energy out. It's, this is a really good one for releasing any buildup particularly of kind of stress and emotion. Let's do this a few more times. To the center, bring the arms up overhead and then let them float down. Now, transitioning from fire into earth, breathe in with your arms extended, and as you exhale, just slowly float the arms down, sinking the knees. It's as if the fire has created the ash and it's slowly floating down, settling down towards the earth. So a very different feeling to the previous exercise. This is the beginning of the earth element phase, that settling feeling of the pull of gravity, everything slowing down. Breathing in, raising the arms up, and breathing out, and floating them down, just sinking the body. We'll do this a few more times. Float the hands back down and then take your feet out a little wider back into horse stance. So as wide as you can, getting that nice, strong, stable position. Sink the tailbone, opening the hips, nice relaxed belly, relaxed shoulders, lift the crown. We're going to create a mudra now for the earth element. So the palm is face up underneath the solar plexus area and the other hand is perpendicular, just hovering over the middle of the lower hand. So we create this angular shape and sink a little at the knee, 
relaxing the belly and just allow yourself to breathe and hold this position. By creating the angle with the hands, you should feel a gentle and subtle bit of pressure around the midsection of the body coming from the back. So we're creating a gentle massage and resting our awareness in the center of the body. I'll just swap my hands around and continue to stand and breathe, relaxing in the position. Both the lower and upper half of the body here are really maximizing our ability to channel and absorb that earth energy as we emulate its qualities of strength, solidity, stability. And we'll continue with this theme, but add a little bit of movement. You might want to bring your um, feet in just a little bit closer together for this, so maybe just a bit wider than shoulder width. Come back into the position, sink the weight. We're going to breathe in at the centre, and then exhale and push with your upper hand, turning to the side. Slowly breathe in, bringing that hand around, swap over, and then exhale and push. So you can push and exhale through the mouth if you like, giving it a sense of release and slightly more emphatic in terms of the breath work. It should feel like you're pushing something quite heavy and the power and the movement is really again coming from that central area around the solar plexus, so earth element, stomach, spleen, pancreas. Inhaling to center and then exhale, just push and lunge. Again, a strong, stable movement. And let's just do it a few more times. Come back to the center and release the hands back down. Carrying on with the earth theme, inhale your hands with the palms down, up again to solar plexus height, and then exhale emphatically, pushing down, palms down towards the earth, bending the knees. Inhale, draw them back up, and then exhale, flipping the palms facing up and push upwards. So Again, we've got this very strong, stable, powerful breath in, exhale, push down, like you're packing down, nice, solid earth. And then inhale, releasing up. And again, with a strong packing movement, but pushing up through the body, just to keep that sense of balance. So let's do this a few times. You can squat down quite low and bring the hands almost down to the ground if you like, or you can just do a smaller version but try and keep them move with the hands and arms quite powerful. Release the hands down. Have a little bit of a shake out after that. It's quite a strong, heavy feeling sequence. You might want to shake the legs out as well. And to finish, we're going to come back into Wuji just for a moment. And you can finish the sequence here in Wuji if you like. Just enjoy that feeling of the earth underneath your feet, the nice, soft, neutral body, but the long, elegant spine relaxed belly, just allow yourself to breathe slowly and let some of that energy start to settle. However, if you'd like to get a bit more grounded and connecting with the earth element, you can also do um, what I'm going to call a face down savasana. Lie face down on the ground. If you're outside, maybe put something comfortable to lie on. This is a really nice way to connect with the earth 
to restore the energy, particularly the yin energy, to the system, to calm down the nervous system, to lower the heart rate, and really absorb the rich, lush ripeness of this season into the body. So as you lie down, find a comfortable position for your head. If you can keep the spine relatively straight and just have your hands connected with the earth and the forehead also connecting with the earth, this can be really effective. Feel every part of your body start to relax into the ground. Just let the heels and ankles relax, the thighs. Release any tension you might be holding in the glutes and let the belly really sink into the ground. Let the solar plexus and the heart connect with the earth and feel the weight of your head sinking into your hands, the palms, your Lao Gong points, connecting with the earth's energy. Breathe gently. You can take a nice full holistic breath, breathing into the back, feeling the ribs expand and breathing into the belly, feeling it connecting deeper with the earth with every inhalation. If you lie here for long enough, you might start to feel even more of a pull down towards the earth. You might also feel a pulsing sensation, the yin energy working its way through the body, replenishing your energy. So just stay down here for as long as you like. Spend as long as you like in this position. Don't feel like you have to get up. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you once again for joining me for this late summer flow. There'll be a slightly longer version coming pretty soon, so look out for that. But thanks for practicing with me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.